All right. Well, it is Wednesday, and we've got ourselves another snow day going on here. As you can see with our National Weather Service forecast, winter weather advisory where I live, all the counties to the south and west of me, winter storm warnings for snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Now, let's check the radar and see just where we're at. And you can see it moving in. Anything that's light blue or dark blue is Virgo, which is snow that's evaporating before it's reaching the ground. All that green there coming up from the southwestern part of the Keystone State there is uh, snow that is actually reaching the ground. So we're gonna start out with some snow this morning, get a quick thump of two to four inches maybe, and then uh, flip over to sleet and freezing rain before it ends tonight. So tomorrow morning's run ought to be interesting. Today we're not running. Um, I didn't have a scheduled run, plus the state has restrictions up for commercial vehicles again, so we're kind of grounded, even if we did have a run. But yeah, within about an hour or two, we should be snowing up here. So the fact of the matter is that I would really like to uh, start doing some vlogging on my days off and show you guys uh, different things that I do outside of the truck and bus driving. But right now it's just been so cold and so miserable out. And as you can see over my shoulder and up above gray, uh, we hardly ever see any blue skies anymore. Um, it seems like every other day it rains or snows. And like I said, we're waiting on another snowstorm today. So, uh, and it's pretty cold and damp outside and I don't like this kind of weather. So to get out with the camera, it just isn't something I really want to do right now. I came out for a little bit just to kind of show you guys. Um, a lot of the snow from the last storm had melted and you can see some behind me there in my neighbor's yard, but most of it had melted and we're down to just piles and shady areas. And now we're going to put another three to four or five inches down and then top it off with some sleet to lock it in for a while. So it just, ever since last summer, the last half of summer, we just had some really lousy weather in Eastern Pennsylvania. If you look at that fence behind me, you can see the uh, green mold on it. It's just been so wet for the last six, seven months that any kind of wood or anything that hasn't been hit with sunshine uh, got moldy. So I'm you know, gonna have to probably clean some of that stuff off the shady side of our house is kind of on the moldy side and you know along with everybody else's too so it just weather wise like i said the last six months have been kind of crappy so uh, once we start getting some warm weather maybe i'll start going out with the camera and doing some things but but for now this is kind of what we got you know look at, that, look at that gray sky and um it's only a matter of time now before uh the snow starts flying because it's already down at Harrisburg, so it's going to be coming up here pretty quick. So we're going to go back in the house and rouse the dog and go back in the house and talk to you a little more in there. All right, so we're back in the house and we just got a text that our start time for tomorrow changed. It got pushed back two hours. We were supposed to pick up the first part of the group at 7.45 a.m. and then go on to the second part and then take them down to Bethlehem. Um, so we're going to pick them up two hours later at 9.45 a.m. And I guess they're thinking that uh, we will have better road conditions when we go out at 9.45, two hours later. Um, rain's supposed to stop overnight, so temperature's supposed to go up. And I believe the sun may come out tomorrow. I believe tomorrow may uh, clear off at some point and the temperatures will go up maybe close to 50, they're saying. Um, so the later we start, the better the road should be. So that's probably the reason for the new start time, um, which works for me because I would have had to get up pretty early and uh, get up there and fire the bus up and do the pre-trip and everything else. It'd still be dark and temperature could be around freezing and then uh, still have some ice to deal with. So by 9.45 or well, we'll have to leave probably about um nine o'clock or so to get to where we need to be but the uh road should be in a lot better shape salt crews will be out they'll have everything salted down and the temperatures will be rising so uh the road condition should be better and that's probably what their thought process is so it's a charter that we're doing it's not our line haul um which is nice uh, i like doing private charters they're uh my favorite groups to work with so 
nice to have that for tomorrow instead of a, a line haul or one of the school trips. And don't get me wrong, all the trips are nice and uh, grateful for work and all that kind of stuff. But uh, the charters are nice. You get to know the group leaders and all that. And most of them are friendly and, and uh, they build a good rapport with them and then they request you back and it keeps you busy. So uh, hopefully we end up with a good day tomorrow. Hopefully the ice melts and they're thinking about starting two hours later is uh, a good call to make and everything will go the way it's supposed to go. But um, like I said, when we were outside, the snow was down by Harrisburg already. So if I open up that curtain right now, it might even be snowing here by now because that was almost an hour ago and it's uh, moving north pretty quick. So I know I said I might stay in today, <laughs> but if it starts to look nice and it's snowing heavy or whatever, I may go back out with the camera and take a walk or whatever and show you guys some of the wintry scenes. So let's see how it plays out. But that's the, the word for the day is our start time got pushed back two hours for tomorrow morning. And right on cue. 10 a.m. was about what time they said that uh, we would get our snow started. And 10 a.m. is when it started. And in a half hour's time, you can see we already got probably about a quarter inch. It's coming down pretty good. Um, should snow for about four, five, six hours. And then it's going to flip on over to sleet and then eventually freezing rain. And beyond that, maybe some rain. So it has started. All right, this snowstorm came in two rounds. First round dumped snow, which really wasn't a lot of snow. We only got about two inches of snow out of it. It came down pretty hard there for about an hour and a half, two hours, maybe an inch rate, half, three quarter inch rate, and then it slowed down and stopped. And now what we got going on now is like a snow mist, which is why I'm not going off the porch because I don't want to get the camera wet. Um, so that was pretty much it with the snow. I think the next round that's coming in a couple of hours is supposed to be sleet and then eventually freezing rain. Don't know how much sleet we're going to get, but they're talking about a quarter inch of freezing rain ice. Uh, so that's going to coat everything up real good until it gets above freezing. Right now it's only about 28 degrees. So if we go right to freezing rain, it's going to freeze on contact because it's pretty cold out here. So let's see what happens later on tonight, but that's how it's going so far. Well, that may look like snow, but it is actually freezing rain, freezing drizzle. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not, but you can see the ice on those wires. So if this keeps up all night long, we are going to have some problems here because they're talking about anywhere from a quarter to a half inch of ice possible and with that i'm going to close out the video here and i'm not dragging out my studio light just for this short little segment i had it on earlier this afternoon and it seemed to work really nice just have to mess with the white balance on it to get me looking better um but we're going to close out the video here because we're soon going to have to go to bed and i want to render it and uh get it posted tonight for you guys um but if we don't get above freezing uh, within an hour or two, we're going to have problems, I think, because like I said, they're talking about a quarter to a half inch ice. And once you get up into that kind of territory, that's when power lines and tree limbs start coming down and uh, may wake up tomorrow morning with no power. But either way, I got to get up early enough to uh, try and clean all this mess up and get salt put down and everything else. And course it'll take me a half hour to thaw the jeep out before i can get it going because that thick ice you can't scrape it off you just have to start it up run the defroster and let it melt its way off so we'll close out this wednesday snow day off day vlog and uh we'll try to do something tomorrow when we go down to bethlehem uh, i might put the dash camera up instead of the gopro for tomorrow's video but um we'll try and do something for you on that trip so, all right, until then, we'll talk to you later.